Welcome the flood. We have major flooding happening at this hour in and around Calgary. From Camor to Coleman, communities are battling rising waters. In Calgary, it could be the biggest flood since 2005. In Turner Valley, a sour gas pipeline has ruptured. There, people have been told to stay inside and prepare to be evacuated. Residents in Canmore, where these pictures were shot, have already been evacuated, and the rain continues. A viewer just sent this video in, looking from his backyard in Canmore. Cougar Creek, now a raging river. We're hearing some homes and cars have been swept away. And in Longview, authorities are trying to find two people whose camper was swept into the Highwood River. Further downstream, the town of High River is also dealing with serious flooding. Several areas have been evacuated, and residents are seeking shelter at the Highwood High School. Good afternoon. We have reports from all of those areas, but we begin in Canmore this afternoon, where a local state of emergency has been declared. The Trans Canada Highway near Banff is closed because of a mudslide near the Mount Norquay turnoff. Stephanie Brennan has been in that area all morning trying to make it in there. So, Stephanie, just how bad is it right now? So right now we're about 10 minutes outside of Camborn. and RCMP won't let us get any closer than what we are. The eastbound lane of Highway 1 has been completely washed out and the river continues to rise as the rain continues to come down. There is a worry that more of this road could be washed out as the day goes on. Now as for the town of Camor, they are under a state of emergency. Residents who live along Cougar Creek were evacuated early this morning. They have been put up in the Civic Center until things get back to somewhat normal. More residents are on standby to be evacuated as the rain continues to fall. RCMP tell us that they could have to be removed by helicopter because many of the roads and bridges have been washed out in the town of Canmore. There's also several mudslides that RCMP are dealing with between Canmore and Banff. Now, I just spoke with a resident who lives in the Rock Quarry who described the destructive, described the amount of damage that has happened near the quarry. Cars are in the ditches, starting to float away, like, road is disappearing. A trailer, I can't even steer right now because it's in the bush, like, everything is gone. She also tells us they've been unable to find one man that lives at the quarry. RCMP are looking into that right now. So as the day goes on, the situation could get worse. We'll continue to monitor and bring you the latest throughout the show. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Near Longview, the story continues. The flooding is bad and the search is on for two men believed to be missing. The rescue mission began at 1030 this morning. There were reports a trailer capsized near the Highwood River. An aerial search has been taking place near the junction of Highway 22 and Highway 541 south of Black Diamond. Stars has now returned to base to refuel. And a local state of emergency has been declared for Calgary. The levels of the Bow and the Elbow Rivers are rising quickly and more rain is coming. Our Kevin Fleming joins us live from the Elbow Park community this afternoon. Ke Kevin, what is the city telling people to do in preparation for flooding? Emergency. Uh, the city is going to start putting some sandbags up in areas of high risk to protect property and infrastructure. But what they're telling people right now is to stay away, honestly, from any, uh, any river, any creek, anything like that, because the levels are so fast and high right now that the banks are unstable. Uh, that's a huge thing. And even those temporary storm ponds that we see in different communities, that's where a lot of the street water ends up. And those levels are rising quickly, too. Now, it has stopped finally raining here, but that doesn't mean that we're still out of this state of emergency because there's so much rain to the west, all that water is going to end up here, and that's why the city put that into, into place. You can see behind me here, the Elbow River is moving incredibly fast right now. Uh, right here by the bank, we're close. It's, it's not as dangerous right here where we're standing right now because the water is pushing up against that side, but right up to here, it's up easily three or four meters where I'm standing right now. And the city is actually looking at evacuating some people from along the Bow River. The majority of our focus, not all of our focus, is on the Elbow River. Um, residents that have experienced past flooding uh, of the significance of the 2005 floods uh, should be preparing their homes and preparing for the fact that later on this afternoon we'll probably be asking a fair number of those residents to evacuate. And Ian, we're hearing right now that the city is saying that 
this flood activity that we're seeing right now could be as bad or worse as what we saw in 2005. All right, thanks, Kevin. Now, on top of rising water levels in Turner Valley, a gas pipeline rupture is forcing residents indoors there. We're told the leak is contained and the air quality is being monitored. A mandatory evacuation order is in place for two communities, but everybody is being told to prepare to leave. Our Kevin Green is in the Black Diamond Turner Valley area. The road between those two places is closed because of all the water. He says people are literally being rescued by buckets and backhoes. We spoke to him just a few minutes ago by phone. I'm standing on the main road that runs through the center of Black Diamond. It is completely flooded. Water is flowing like a river down the main street. Uh, two large backhoes are clearing a huge trench trying to divert the water so that the bridge doesn't wash out. The water is at least four to five feet deep, completely flooded. A strip mall, post office, liquor store, dental shop. Uh, I watched just 15 minutes ago as a couple of men were rescued from the fast gas station, a big backhoe. Uh, went in and lifted them out uh, and then took them through the torrent back to the back to the safety of some dry land. People all around the area of the river and all the low-lying areas of Black Diamond have been evacuated from their homes. Police are clearing out the area. I've been in a couple of basements in the area that are completely flooded right up to the, to the floor of the main floor. Uh, power is a problem. Most of the people are at the community centre just down the way from where I'm standing. Uh, I've talked to fire officials here who tell me they don't expect the river here to crest until about 2 p.m., so the worst is yet to come. Thank you, Kevin. Meantime, in Bragg Creek, there's a lot of flooding of homes and yards. Now, this is video we shot this morning. This is Main Street, Bragg Creek. As you can see, the road is impassable. Roads literally turned into rivers. RCMP are directing people out of that area. Emergency officials there urge people to stay off the roads and stay in their homes. All right, Todd, this is just incredible stuff. Uh, it sure would be a relief if the rain stopped. Taking a bit of a break right now, at least for the city of Calgary. Should note, Ian, I had a viewer write me uh, just a couple of hours ago the latest update from the hamlet of Bragg Creek, where he lives, 95 millimeters of rain. Uh, and he's pretty good at his measurements. He's always kept us updated over the past couple of years. So 95 mils for Bragg Creek. The rain for the city of Calgary now shifting north. Very heavy rains. I just had a look at some of the webcams north on QE number two. We're back to very reduced visibilities as the heavy rains bombard areas up around Red Deer. The rain continues west of the city. This is a momentary reprieve. We still have some shower activity in the city. Not expecting the rainfall totals we've seen through the overnight hours of this morning to continue through today, but there is more rain in the forecast, I can tell you that, and we'll have the information as well as a look back at the rainfall totals for many different jurisdictions coming up in a few minutes. All right, Todd, thank you very much. As you've seen, we've had reporters around the region, and we have some trying to get out of High River right now. This is a live is shot from our cruiser where Bill Marks is right now in High River. You can see the water levels on the roadways there rising very significantly, hard to get through town, as in several regions across uh, southern Alberta. If you do not have to leave and drive on these streets, do not do so.